So let's solve the problem. Let's not get involved in constitutional arguments. This hearing does tackle the very pressing issue of guns and gun violence. On the average of 300 Americans are shot every day, 90 of them will die, almost a third. We do need to change our nation's culture of violence. We do need to stop guns getting into the wrong hands, the criminals, those with mental illness, without infringing on the right of law-abiding citizens to purchase fire alarms. So let's solve the problem. Let's not get involved in constitutional arguments. But know that I do support the president's measure on guns. He is within his constitutional authority to act in many of these activities, like adding more FBI and ATF agents, have strongly been supported by this committee. I do look forward to hearing the Attorney General Loretta Lynch's testimony today on the president's recent announcement on guns and the impact it will have on the American people and will it make us safe. No mincing, no message, no talking points. Will it really help the American people? Are we within our constitutional boundaries? We do respect the Constitution. Uh, and also, though, its impact on the Justice Department, on the ability to deal with this. But this is not only a Justice Department. I just left the HELP hearing where we're holding a hearing on mental illness. And for so many of people who are victims of gun violence, the volatile combination of mental illness and access to guns are dangerous. Mr. Chairman, I look forward, though, not to me talking and listening to myself, but listening to the Attorney General and listening to this wonderful panel that you've invited to participate today. So let's solve the problem. Let's not get involved in constitutional arguments, and let's help our American people be safe and secure in their home, their neighborhood, their school, and their house of worship. Let's not get involved in constitutional arguments.